Hi, Mewan. About what you said, about Hawk telling the truth about Maxine. She is Hawk's daughter. That one cannot change. Maxine has been through a lot. Her mother's missing. We still don't know where she is. This would just add more confusion and hurt. Then, my hurt, Hawk's hurt. Hawk and Magdalene wanted to start a family. It's not easy. Maxine is Hawk. I understand. How about this? Maxine is undergoing therapy at the moment. Once her therapist says that she's more stable, maybe we can discuss this again. I know she's been through a lot. <sighs> Thank you. And please tell Hawk that confronting James will just make things worse. I cannot promise you anything. It's been half an hour. Kevin should have delivered the babies by now. A C-section can take as long as an hour. Try to relax. You know, it's my fault. What kind of a husband will leave his pregnant wife alone Ajay, to... Ajay, it's not your fault, okay? Just calm down. You want coffee? <sighs> Why are they taking so long? Kevin should have delivered the babies. What if something goes wrong and I have to make a choice, huh? Cameron or the babies? How am I going to make a decision just like that? Okay, shut up. Stop talking like that. Okay? Cameron's going to be fine and you are going to be a proud father to a pair of happy, healthy twins. You hear me? Yeah. Let's change the subject. We're going to move to our new place tomorrow. It's, it's going to be madness, but thankfully, we haven't properly unpacked since the last time we moved. <laughs> Blessing in disguise. You're still thinking about Cameron and the babies. Okay. You haven't come up with names for them yet, right? Because you didn't want to know the sex? You have time on your hands. Why don't you come up with a list of names now? Ma, have you seen Hawk? I can't seem to reach him over the phone. Oh. No, I don't know. But he was here this afternoon. Okay. I know you put in a lot of effort, Mom, but I can't make it for dinner. Christmas time is family time. I'm already leaving you alone on Christmas Day. And I appreciate it, Mom. But I've already made plans for tomorrow night. Just come for a bite and then go for whatever it is you've got on that you refuse to tell me about. Mom, remember our agreement? You respect my boundaries and I respect yours. No, I don't remember any... Bye, Mom. Love you. Hey, why so glum? <laughs> Hi, Louis. Come on, cheer up. It's Christmas. You're giving my customers sad vibes. You're taking the joy out of... Everyday song? Oh my god, so cheesy. Hey, I made you smile. You are in an awfully good mood. Like I said, it's Christmas. <laughs> no, there's something else going on here. Maybe it's this. My store's finally open. No. I sense something different about your energy. Who is she? Your way off target. <laughs> no, Louis, what is her name? I want the juicy details. Maddie, I can't lie to you. So you are seeing someone? I am madly in love with... The store! It's finally open! <laughs> I'm sorry I asked. Wow, <laughs> that's a long list of names. Any favourites? You know what? I can't do this anymore. If you look at your watch again, I can always look at my phone for the time. Mr. Ajay, the delivery went well. You have a boy and a girl. Congratulations. Oh. You can see your wife now. Is she okay? She's fine. See? I told you there was nothing to worry about. <laughs> Congrats, Cass. Go, 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 go see your wife. Go. Ma. Hey. 
Magdalene was looking for you. She doesn't seem to be happy. Is it bad news? Every day she's thinking about having a baby. How to be happy? She really cannot have children. The thing is, Hawk and Madeline are serious about having kids, and that's pushed May one to the breaking point. She believes that Maxine should be with them. What did you say to her? Hanania said that Maxine is going through therapy. She misses her mother, and if you take her away from James now, she might become unstable. I promise her to give her more time. That's clever. Why didn't I think of that? It's the truth. That's what makes it clever. Relax, Ananya. Miwan is a grandmother. Grandmothers always have their grandchildren's best interests first. Yeah, that's your one saving grace. Leave Hawk to Miwan. I expect her to keep him in check. Hawk, you must think of Maxine first. This is not forever. When she's better, then you tell her the truth. Ma, she's lying. Hawk, don't take the risk. She's your daughter. You must think of her first. Morning. How's your head? Um, still throbs from time to time. Hey, I was wondering, do you think the police still work on Christmas Eve? Young, I'm sure we'll hear from Inspector Shaifu if there are any new developments. Don't worry so much, okay? Just kidding. Worrying's not on the agenda. Not when I've got an amazing dinner to look forward to. Oh, so you know Madeline hired a chef? Chef Siegfried of Wildflower. I was going to ask Madeline about the menu, but part of the fun is finding something unexpected on your plate. Chef Siegfried takes the simplest ingredients and turns them to masterpieces. I've got no words. I think you've said enough. <laughs> Hey, guys. Congrats! We got you a handful of cute little baby stuff. Um, can you put it by the flowers? Yeah. Okay, you want to go for a walk or not? No, I told you I'm sore all over. But the doctor says you need to start moving around. The doctor didn't have a painful C-section. Maybe we should... Can you please tell my pig-headed husband that I'm too weak to get out of bed? You're not trying hard enough. I'm in pain. Oh, hi, Sandra. Sandra is our lactation consultant. Oh, yeah, we, we just came to say hi and wish you well. Yeah, take care. Hey, is everything okay? Cameron's frustrated her milk supply is low and we had to hand express to boost production. Hey, do you want to get back here? You can learn a thing or two. Talk about the child is of childbirth. Can't believe mom went through this three times. You, you better get back before you get yelled at. Okay. <sighs> Hi, Louis. Hey, Maddie. <sighs> ah, I've been busy, I see. Do you like some juice? Oh, that sounds lovely. Oh, last minute Christmas shopping, I see. Exactly how large is your family? <laughs> Are you and Hawk expecting? No. That's for baby Dawn. Uh, yeah, I think she's a bit sweet. Get off my back. Fine. I'll get you your juice. Jessica, do you want some lunch? No. I'll bring it on a tray. You can have it in bed. I'm not hungry. Well, don't forget we have Christmas dinner tonight. Celia's organizing the food. She's pulling out all the stops. You know what she's like. Come on, Jessica. I want you there. Have a shower and freshen up. You'll feel better for it. It's not like I can turn them on and off like a tap. I'm sorry, it was an accident. Do you have any idea how sore they are? You think I really wanted to spill it? Okay, uh, <laughs> my timing has been really off today. I Maybe I should come back, huh? No, 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 stay. You should hear this. My breast milk supply has been super low, so I've been pumping these puppies all day. When I 
finally have enough to fill a bottle, this genius spills it. All of it. It was an accident. You had one job. Well, the, the good news is I got you oat milk. It encourages the production of breast milk. Diana used to swear by it. You see? Kenneth knows how to top up my supply and, and you just, just spill it all over the floor. I'm sorry, okay? Okay. Enjoy your oat milk. Hey. Hey, you're still here? I thought you had big plans for tonight. I do. Mm -hmm. So you're not going home to get ready? Or have you changed your mind and decided to go for your mother's Christmas dinner? Zara, for the first time ever, I've got Christmas Eve all to myself. And I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna kick back and chill. The only Shelly there will be me. So that's why you're in a good mood? That's why I'm in a good mood. Okay. Bye. Bye. Hello, gorgeous. What time do you knock off? The usual time. Great. I'll see you at the usual time. Looking forward to it. <laughs> Me too. One of the parents from the school PTA invited Maxine and I for dinner tonight. You know, I thought it'd be a good chance for her to make some friends before school starts. Hmm, how nice. Yeah. You know, we have room for one more. Might be nice if, uh, you know, if you wanted to come. I'd love to. Great, great. I'll see you tonight. Hello, Celia. I can't make it for dinner tonight. Why not? I put the whole thing together for you so you can actually see your son. I mean, well, it won't be necessary now. What? Is this new? Never seen Don in it before. It's a gift from Madeline. She can't wait to see Don in it. So nice to see them so happy together. Hmm. A doll, when is your turn? Slow and steady wins the race, okay? Hi, sorry I'm late. I had a bit of a wardrobe malfunction. Thank you for the gifts. It's very pretty. <laughs> Baby Don looks so pretty. Oh, girl, you are just the prettiest. Hey. I'm hungry. <laughs> Thanks for dropping by, Derek. By the way, if you ever want any parenting advice, you know who not to call. Hey, um, I'm sorry about Adam. It was very unfortunate. How's Jessica? She must be taking it very hard. She just lies in bed all day. Look, it's Christmas. Let's not talk about this. Changes nothing. Tell me about your babies. Oh. <laughs> You're home early. Uh, I am celebrating the holidays. I am going to work from home. Mm. And tackle more unboxing. Did you go visit Cameron? How is she? How's Cameron? She's on a short fuse. She's still feeling the pains of the delivery and she can't produce enough breast milk. Uh, I suppose she's taking it out on RJ. Poor guy. Then again, I suppose he'd be used to it by now. Hmm. Oh, I have photos of the twins. <gasps> Nikki, you want to see RJ Uncle's baby? He has babies? Yes. Don't you pay attention to a thing we tell you? Does this make me an uncle? Uh, they're your cousins. Oh, I have cousins. I have cousins! <laughs> you know who could ease tensions between Ajay and Cameron? I guess it's worth a try. In 15 minutes? Wonderful. Dinner's on the way. There's only three of us having dinner. Yeah, Jules can't make it. His flight got delayed. But he sent me such a sweet, sexy, romantic apology. Can I show you? No, no, no. <laughs> you sure Yok can't join us later? She's gonna be at the hospital all night with Matthew. All the same, I'll save her some food. Mm. Oh, Jess, dinner should be ready in about 15 minutes. What's she doing here? Celia is having dinner with us. She organized the whole thing, remember? Yeah, I ordered a massive roast turkey with all the trimmings. I've got my dinner right here. 
Jessica. I'm gonna open that bottle of champagne. Thanks, Nandalin. I'm gonna get to work. <laughs> Good. Make sure you show them who's boss. And now, for the most important man in my life. Hawk, this is our first Christmas together. And I just want to let you know how much you mean to me. There's no gift in the world that can show you how special you are to me. I'm sorry. I wish I could give you what you really want. I'm sorry. <laughs> What's wrong with Arthur and Agnes? Well, it's a little old school, don't you think? And I'm going to tell you now, I do not want our children's first names to have the same first letter. These are our kids. Arthur, Agnes, Angela, Albert, and Albertina. OK, OK. I heard it the first time. Don't you have any more names? You hit all of them. I don't know how some parents can look at their children and immediately know what their name is. Hi, can I see my cousins? Hi, I'm Nikki. Nikki, not so loud, okay? You're going to scare them. Okay. Shh. Hi, I'm Nikki. Okay, okay, Nikki, don't breathe on them. Hey. Hey. So, how are you doing? Tired. <laughs> but, happy. I finally did it. Yes, you did. Congrats. Sorry we didn't give you a heads up. We wanted to surprise you with a celebration. Nina, where's the food? Right here. Oh. You only had one glass. I broke my no alcohol rule only because it's Christmas. I wonder what's going to happen next. I mean, out of the blue, Matthew gets an aneurysm. And if that wasn't bad enough, Adam takes his own life and no one knows why. I just hope Jessica doesn't do anything stupid. How can you talk like that? Now is the time that Jess needs you the most. I've done all I can for Jessica. She doesn't want my help. She won't see a therapist. She just pushes everyone away. If she wants to spend the rest of her life feeling miserable, so be it. I'm surprised. Did you not renew your vows with Jessica? Now is not the time to say I told you so. Are you sure? We've got some nice names here. None of them in the cut. I got it! Minnie and Nikki! Nikki, be serious. How about Karen and Karina? Hmm. Actually... You like Karen and Karina? I do. It has a nice ring to it. Yeah, but it's K and K. You said... No. You know what? You like it? Sure. Let's keep it. Thanks, Nina. Karen and Karina. You know, it reminds me of that bar near the resort. On our honeymoon, the brother and sister who ran a bar together. They were so lively and fun-loving. Mm. Nice one, Nina. The names are from animal cartoons. It's a cartoon. OK, keep it to yourself. <laughs> I want to carry the baby. Nikki, no! You need to be more careful with newborn babies. Ache, take it easy. Okay, okay. Well, okay. <clears throat> Cameron, sorry I'm not dressed in my Santa Claus outfit, but <laughs> this is the gift from all of us. Thank you. It's a three-in-one present. We even got something for Karen and Karina. Oh! <laughs> oh, it's adorable! It's a nice night for a walk. I'm sorry I couldn't get you a Christmas present. So much has been going on lately. Well, you can make up for it in the not-so-distant future with something that fits right here. Oh. Um... Oh? Well, um... Maybe we should put it on hold. Everything's still up in the air. Young, you didn't kill Adam. 
Someone else was on the roof that day. We are getting married, okay? I'm still the police's main suspect. If the worst happens and... Then I'll visit my husband in Changi Prison. But that's not going to happen. Ella, I'm serious. I won't be any use to you and Don. Just think about it, okay? Yes, I am a dinosaur. And I want to be your friend. <laughs> She's smiling. Yes, she is. <laughs> Here. This is for you, Dawn. You already given her a present. Yeah, but she should have it. I only bought it because I thought it would be nice to have a fantasy child. Why don't you consider adopting? I really want to have my own child. Uh, then try IVF. I spoke to my gynae. I don't think I have the strength to go through IVF. Ayah, don't give up so easily. A hawk, ah, bring Madeline go and see another doctor. Good night, Don. Good night, Ma. Good night. Hawk, ah, why don't you comfort her? We have Maxine. You there for what? She says she wants her own child. It's not the right time to talk about. Maxi, she so can't have children. What can I do? Hey, Ma, I know what I'm doing. Once we have Maxine, everything will be okay. It's about the IVF treatment. I think we should give it some serious thought. No, no, I'm gonna work soon. That's okay, we can talk about it later. I have a super busy day ahead of me. I'm having brunch with Ginny, Pegs and Boons. I hope I don't overdo it on the Bloody Marys. Hawk, ah. Uh. Nah, please, don't bring it up. 